Hi and welcome to the Software PA team. I'm Jonas Lindholm. In this video I will talk about the basics of how to connect the new DM1000 and the DM1200 displays from Danfoss to Danfoss Plus One service tool. On my desk I have a brand new DM1200. It's a DM1200 without the buttons around the screen. However, this guide works also for the DM1000 or without buttons. Before we do anything more, I think we should start to find the new HWD files for the display and install them uh, to Plus One Guide. So I open the Update Center and I select the button Select Files manually and uh, then click on the edit subscription and have a look at uh, under edit the subscription here you can find the programmable hardware and display hardware files and here we should find it uh, dm1x00 files as an alternative i can install the hwd files from inside of plus one guide so I start the plus one guide. Select the hardware tab and uh, then right click and choose install hardware. Here you can select the HWD file that you have got from someone. When the HWD file is installed, you can find it here under Programmable Hardware and Displays. Under this uh, Hardware tab, you can also find the data sheet. So uh, we have a look at the data sheet. Double click and open up the data sheet. I scroll down in the PDF to show you what types of devices that are available. Uh, this is the one that I have on my table. A touch with no buttons but with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GNSS. Here on the back of the display we can see a lot of different options and how to connect the DM1200 to the computer running the Plus One service tool. We have the traditional uh, CAN buses on the two Deutsch DTM connectors. And then we have a new USB device connector that supports a connection to a USB Ethernet driver in the Windows PC. There is also a standard Ethernet connector, as well as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi via the antenna. In this video I will briefly describe all of these interfaces and how to use them to connect to Plus One service tool. The CAN connection and the use of the USB to CAN gateway CD150 is the well-known connection and used to connect to many other Danfoss controllers. However, the connection over USB, Ethernet, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth use a new protocol from Danfoss called Interlink. Uh, Plus One Interlink is based on the Diagnostic over IP protocol with some extensions. This is a basic video, so I leave this section for a coming video on this subject. So let's get back to the Plus One guide. I uh, create a new project. Select. title of it then I choose the HWD file the hardware file from the for the DM 1200T that's only one template to choose so I add that 
I only need this empty template to make the modifications to be able to do all the connection I want to show. Now we can start uh, to look into the canvases. In this template you can see that we have a default board rate of 250 kiloboard. Uh, you can change this up to 1000 kiloboard. However, we leave the settings out for now. Then we check under outputs by pressing E and click on the outputs. Here we start to have a look at the USB Ethernet. Uh, we don't need to do any changes here. Uh, as we can see on the template, the USB Ethernet is enabled by default. There is a lot of settings as well, but we leave them for now. The use of uh, static IP is fine for connecting to the USB on the PC. Then we check the Ethernet settings. I would like to connect to the DM1200 to my PC directly to the Ethernet connector. So uh, I need what I need to do first is to enable the Ethernet interface. I would also uh, like to use the static uh, IP address, so I change this DH. CP settings here to disable the DHCP. I'll stick to with these uh, default values. Uh, an alternative would have been to connect the DM1200 to the office LAN. Uh, then I would have kept the DHCP settings. Now I want to explore the Wi-Fi settings. I enter Wi-Fi output and we can choose to run the DM1200 in Wi-Fi station mode and in access point and as an access point. Uh, we can't run the DM1200 in both modes on the same time. So I uh, start to use the access point. I enable the access point and uh, I use the default values for the SSID and the password. I enter Bluetooth. I would like to start uh, by setting up the M1200 as a peripheral device. That means that I want to use my computer as the central device to discover the DM1200. So I enable Bluetooth. I also set these uh, two options to true for convenience. Before we do the final compile and download of the application we created, I would like to show you one option to create a default service tool diagnostic application P1D file for the project. That is convenient for a quick debug of our applications in the service tool. Now it's time to connect the DM1200 to the PC by using the CG150. Let's have a look at the plus one service tool now. Here you can see that I'm using the default p1d file and um, we can see under communication that I have the gateway now is the CG150 that is connected just by using default p1d and look under the touch page we can observe when I'm touching the display we can see the numbers of touch positions, etc., et showing up in the boxes here. This is an easy first test to see that our communication from the Plus One service tool to the DM1200 works. 
Now it's time to look at the interface using Interlink. We start with the Ethernet connection. When I have uh, connected the DM1200 direct to my computer, I need to do some changes for the IP settings. I open up the settings in Windows for the Ethernet port I connected the DM1200 to. I change the IP4 settings and use a static address. Having a look again at the plus one guide, we can see under Ethernet that the static IP address for the DM1200 was set to 192.168.1.100. So we need to use an IP address for our PC that is on the same IP network defined by the network mask. So uh, I suggest we choose 192. .168.1.10. Now we return to the plus one service tool and check the gateway settings. We check the plus one interlink setting. Here you can see the Ethernet connection that we just set up. Just connect and we are done and can start debugging. Now we will check if we can find and connect the Wi Fi hotspot we started on the DM1200. I start by searching for the correct access point. We check in the plus one guide for the SSED and the password. We used the default ones that says DM underscore Wi-Fi for the SSID and we remember the password to use. We can now connect to the DM1200 access point in Windows. Now let's return to the plus one service tool. We look for the interlink settings under the gateway settings. Here we can see that we now are connected through our Wi-Fi link. Bluetooth uh, connection from the PC to a peripheral device is very similar to the Wi-Fi AP connection. We start by adding a Bluetooth device. We can see that DM Bluetooth that uh, is our DM1200 is found. I connect to the unit and uh, that's all. Let us now look at the USB Ethernet connection. I plug in a special made USB cable from the DM1200 to PC. my PC. Here we can see that the RNDIS driver on the Windows has created an Ethernet port 4 for us to use. If I change to another USB port on my computer, a new Ethernet port, uh, Ethernet port 5, is used for the connection instead. We are now back in the service tool. Here we can see under the interlink settings that we are connected to Ethernet 5, where our uh, USB Ethernet connection is. That's all for this basic video. Thank you for listening.